Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yulia. I'm a wardrobe stylist, a content creator and an online fashion boutique owner. So today I have a super special and fun video. The perfect video for this time of the year. We're gonna be talking about layering and you really need to know how to combine different pieces together so they will look cute and will keep you warm. In today's video I'm gonna show you five different ways how you can layer your outfits. Layering it's not that easy. You definitely need to be careful about mixing different textures a different length and different fits so we're gonna talk about that in detail so yeah guys if you're excited please make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss out any of my new uploads follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok and without further ado let's jump into it so the first way is the easiest I would say but I have a couple of things that I want to mention about this way of layering. We're gonna be talking about how to layer cardigans and thin sweaters. So if you want to layer cardigans and sweaters first thing make sure that your cardigan is thick enough so when you will be wearing it on top of the sweater you will not see the fabric of the sweater underneath and that it's big enough. You cannot layer sweaters and cardigans with really fitted cardigans. So definitely go for something a little bit more oversized so you will be comfortable and at the same time it's gonna look stylish. So let me show you an example. We're gonna start with a really simple black turtleneck. All the pieces will be linked in the description box as my website with all my services and all that kind of information if you want to work with me as a stylist. And I mixed it with this cardigan. It's a belted cardigan. It definitely has plenty of room to put something thin underneath. So this is gonna be our two layering pieces in this outfit. On the bottom I went with uh, these four leather fitted pants. These are from H&M. I got them like a couple of years ago. When I personally wear in longer cardigans I like to mix them with a little bit more fitted bottoms just to give it a little bit more of a balanced silhouette but if you want to wear straight leg or wide leg pants and a belted cardigan I think it looks a little bit more edgy and you definitely can do it but it's just not my personal preference. For my shoes I added this Vince Camuto high boots. I showed them to you in my visiting the richest TJ Maxx video and uh, I told you that I'm absolutely in love with these boots. They are so feminine, they are so stylish. They definitely change your look completely. I just absolutely adore these heels. With these high black boots, we add in a little bit of contrast. And because all of the pieces of our outfit have uh, solid colors, I decided to add a little bit of print and added my Gucci mini Dionysus bag. The second way of layering, it's a little bit more creative, I would say. So we're gonna start with a really simple sweater dress. You know that I love sweater dresses. They are really simple to style and they always look nice. This is a midi dress. And in this case, we're gonna be layering a scarf. So I have this plaid scarf. It's a pretty big scarf. And what I did in this case, I put it like this. You're gonna see it way better in the video. And then I added a belt, creating sort of a vest situation on the front. I think it's super fun. I think it's a little bit more unexpected way of wearing your scarves. In this case I created a really monochromatic look. I added another pair of Vince Camuto boots. They are definitely one of my most worn boots of this season. And for my bag I added my Lady Dior bag that I don't know where I put. It's somewhere around here. It's a little bit messy right now but you're gonna see it just in a second.
In the outfit number three, I wanted to show you how you can incorporate your summer and spring dresses into your winter closet. So I have this super simple and basic satin midi dress. This one is from H&M. And in this case, underneath, I added this see-through top with a little bit of print, but you can definitely go with a white or black turtleneck with a white button-down shirt as well. To bring a little bit of contrast to my look, I added on top this fuchsia color blazer. This one is from Mango. This rich, really deep, pink color. It's definitely calling my name during colder month of the year. And because we have a lot of going on in our clothing pieces, I wouldn't suggest to go crazy with the accessories. So in this case, I added really simple black accessories, black pumps. These are from Sam Edelman. And as always, my Jimmy Choo suede clutch. This bag has an appearance in all of my styling videos recently. Okay, outfit number four and uh, this is one of my favorite outfits in this video but also this is one of the most complicated ways of layering because we have three layers on top and in this case we also need to make sure to match our layers with our bottom so I'm gonna start with our first top layer and it's this sweetheart neckline fitted black sweater this one is from my brand YY the label make sure that it's fitted that it's not really bulky because you cannot start with something really bulky if you want to add more layers on top on the bottom i added this midi maxi it really depends on your height pleated midi skirt from h&m pleated midi skirts are beautiful and flatters all the body types but it's a really textured skirt so you need to make sure how you're gonna mix with your tops then we have a blazer and uh, i would suggest if you want to create a little bit more complicated look like this one your blazer needs to be solid color i also added a waist belt because i love those cinched really dior-esque silhouettes really feminine really sophisticated love that kind of looks and this is going to be your really sophisticated looks for the coldest days our third layer of course it's going to be a coat and in this case i added a really thick coat this one is from h&m and uh, i wanted to add a little bit more of contrast as well even though we're staying in that neutral palette I went with this gray color and as you can see it has a little bit of print on it. When you're adding a third layer you can wear it on top as a cape let's say or you definitely need to make sure that the coat is big enough so it doesn't look super bulky all the layers underneath. And then for my accessories you can go with high boots definitely solid colors and nothing really textured or you can go with pumps. I added this really simple Sam Edelman nude pumps. And for my bag, once again, I didn't bring my bag here, but I was wearing my Prada Safiano pink bag. I wanted to add a touch of color. And even though it's still really neutral, it's pink, but it's a neutral pink, it does add that touch of color. And nothing major, but definitely makes a difference in our look. Outfit number five is definitely the warmest of all and it's a little bit more casual. So we're gonna start from the bottom. On the bottom I'm wearing high-waisted straight leg jeans. 
from ASOS. I showed them to you in a million of different videos. And on top, we're gonna have again, three layers. So the first layer, it's gonna be a really simple cashmere white sweater, crew neck white sweater. And then we're gonna be mixing two jackets. So our second layer, it's gonna be a jacket. Those type of jackets that were super popular like a couple of years ago and still super trendy. And I have this pink jacket from H&M that I got like a couple of years ago and it has a solid color, but I really like, again, that touch of color that it adds to our to our really neutral look. And the last layer, of course, is gonna be another coat. This one is from Mango. And once again, you need to make sure that it's big enough so the layers that you're wearing underneath, they don't look bulky. This one is pretty long and pretty roomy coat. I love it. I mean, I live in LA and it's not like super cold here, but for days when it's colder, especially during the nights, I'm always wearing this coat. I love it so much. It's, I just love Mango in general. They have amazing quality, especially in suits and jackets. They really know what they're doing. And finishing with black accessories. So for my shoes, I went with this lace-up boots from um, Asos. You can go with white sneakers, you can go flat boots, but I decided to add a little bit of heel because you know me. And for my back, a really unpopular back right now. I know I'm not supporting Balenciaga, but I have this back. I paid for it quite a lot of money and I want to use it and enjoy this back. This is my Hourglass Balenciaga bag and I love it. I'm so sorry and I'm gonna still use it even though I of course don't support what Balenciaga is doing right now. Okay, you guys, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope I gave you some ideas for this colder days. When you're gonna watch this video, I'm actually gonna be in Colorado. And to be quite honest, I'm a little bit scared because I'm not used to really cold places and I really don't know what I'm gonna be wearing there. I don't know what to expect, to be quite honest. I have a really warm jacket. I have plenty of thermal tops, thermal leggings and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be cold, but at the same time, I'm super excited. I never had like a real winter vacation, so I'm gonna be vlogging that and you're gonna see that really soon on my channel. So yeah, guys, if you did like this video, please make sure to give a super big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok. And yeah, you guys, I definitely hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.